Every year, thousands of families find themselves at St. Jude Children's Research Hospital taking on what is likely their biggest battle, childhood cancer. Photojournalist Nick Kiefer and I met with a survivor and her mom. They say the campus has one major thing. At two and a half years old, Mabry's recurring ear infections evolved. Just couldn't get rid of it. And then one Friday evening, her face just kind of came, she came to me and her face was swollen. Her mom, Jenny, took her to a hospital the next day. Blood work led to an unsettling discovery. The doctor came in with just news that blew us off of our feet that they felt confident that Mabry had leukemia, um, acute lymphoblastic leukemia. They drove down the road to St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. I thought I was taking my daughter to a hospice hospital. Although filled with fear, Jenny found a sense of hope stepping onto campus. A lady was there to kind of help me get the door open and, and she could see the fear in my eyes and she said, everything's gonna be okay. She said, I was in your shoes 18 years ago and we brought my son here and he's doing wonderful. Fast forward two and a half years, Mabry successfully completed her chemo treatments. She wouldn't be here today with us if it wasn't for St. Jude. Today, Mabry is a healthy 12 year old. I like to ride horses. Ooh. And play outside. With a life full of opportunities ahead. And Mabry is now in middle school and it's just, the mom kept saying if it weren't for St. Jude and all the effort they do for finding those cures, but also supporting them during this journey and letting them focus on just their child getting better and not worrying about those bills. And she put what St. Jude does into perspective. In that story, she said, I thought I was taking my daughter mm -hmm. to hospice and instead St. Jude, and now her daughter's with her today. Yeah. It's a great, great right, campus. Me.